Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys have no clue of what they're drinking. So today's bottle comes from James Dellinger and the Alaskan Club 712. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. And it's gonna be E.H. Taylor. Um, this one happens to be bottled in bond, but it's a single barrel. Um, I believe they're all bottled in bond because, yeah, anyway. Um, if you've never seen our show before, the guys are gonna drink what's in their glasses without knowing what it is. Then they're gonna give you a price point that they're willing to pay to see that bottle on the sh their shelf. So if you like what you see, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe button, comment in the comments, and head on over to Facebook and join our Facebook group, uh, Bourbon Blind Nation. Um, besides that, short, sweet, and to the point. La, 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 la. Choo, choo. What's up, Nick? What up, Kyle? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. Y'all know what's up. I just said y'all. I'm in Tennessee. Screw it. You all Wait. know what is up. You you will you guys and you guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You gotta say it with a New York accent though. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. What's up, you guys? Uh so we taste whiskey, give it a price tag, all that good stuff. It's a tough job, but somebody has it's, to. It is. It's for science. Right. It's for you guys. Right. We we do this purely for your enjoyment and researchability. So that's pretty good. It's brown sugar, cinnamon. Yeah, definitely like some, some cinnamon, like baking spice, allspice type. Almost clovish. Caramel, vanilla. I could definitely go with clove. Pretty like textbook bourbon. Yeah, like the spicier of the bourbons. You know it know. almost smells like a more high rye mash bill. I can see that. Like something greater than 20%. Great job. Greater than 20%. Greater, greater. 20. 20 is less than that the part. So I always have to do it in my head. <laughs> Kyle's good at math. I am. I am better at math in my head than you are. You're better at converting things from one thing to another, like kilometers to miles. You know how I have to do kilometers to miles? 100 kilometers an hour is 62 miles an hour, so roughly 60 miles an hour, and then I just scale it down from there or That's up. That's pretty much what I do. Yeah. I just do it much better than you. So, on the palate, decent amount of ethanol, good amount of flavor. Uh, that was my first sip of the day. Oh. More still at uh, that spicy aspect. Mm -hmm. I was going to say well over 100 proof, but it is my first pour of the day. I'm not. I don't think it is. I'd say I'm it's guessing probably in around the 90s. 100 proof. I'm guessing in the 90s. I'm guessing around 100 proof, give or take 20 proof. Look at that. Aaron got us a straw. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Let that... Simifo minute. Simifo minute. So, so, I'm almost a bit underwhelmed with it. Aside from that spice, it's just not a lot. It's yeah, like it's got some flavors, but it's like, like there's, there, there's no wow factor. Yeah, it's and that's not to say that they all have to have a wow factor. It's just not. So I will say I think it has more. Broad flavors and like Evan Williams bottled and bond. Sure. That being said, like it's not. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's just a textbook bourbon. Yeah. You know what I mean. Creamier with the water. Lost all the ethanol, but also lost ninety percent of the flavor. The nose is basically the same. A little bit of a little bit of that ethanol, a little bit of spice, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot on the nose after the water either. I'd say it's almost like a watered down tea. The unadulterated version. On the palate. After the water? Yeah. It's just not... So don't add water to this unless... Ooh, way more sweetness. Or uh, it, I think this would be something good for newbies to work their way up mm -hmm. to like a, a, a higher proof that you could start with the water and begin to pick out a little bit of flavors and then work your way up to no water and then go to something better. It almost feels... <sighs> I'm wondering if it's more complex, but everything is really well balanced. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it is. It just doesn't. 
present well, I guess, for lack of better phrasing. Like, there's nothing offensive in the glass, but no. it's, like, at all. Like, I'm, it's fine. But, like, to me, that's all it is. It's fine. I'd probably be in this, I was going to say 60 to 80 bucks. Probably wow. 60 to 70 bucks. Wow. I'm like 20, 30 bucks. Okay. It's just. I, I could I could drink th- I would pour this and drink it and not care right like if I'm not looking to pay attention to whatever I'm drinking this would probably be fine but that that's the thing like that's all I can picture myself drinking this with is if I don't care right and that's not I mean you do that's you not could. something I'm willing to pay a lot of money for well should we see what it is what is in the bag? It's Taylor bottled and bought. Single barrel. Yeah. You need to Taylor single barrel. Um, yep. Without the hype of the label, sir. Yep. Well, actually, retail on that is about 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. If you can find it for that, which, you know, good luck. Um, it is not a store pick, but it is the original single barrel. And I think that's a... And it's 100 proof. 2018, 2019. It is 100 proof. How long has this been open? It's about it's about here, so it's a little over half gone, right at half gone. Right. It's been less than a year. Okay. Kyle's getting friendly with the glass. L19, so that is a 2019 bottle. This is now 2021. Uh, but like I said, it's probably been less than, definitely less than a year that that's been opened. Because I didn't open it until I killed my last regular small batch. I was like, yeah, I'll open a single barrel. I, I like the small batch. I do. I like E.H. Taylor's offerings. I this like one this is better than the small batch. For me. To, to me, this was just a bit underwhelming. Yeah, and that's fair. That's, like I said, you do you, boo. Mm. Like, mm. And, and it could be because, you know, knowing what I was drinking when I had my last E.H. Taylor, like it was... I thoroughly enjoyed that that bottle, and it was just a regular small batch. Um, so this did win. Was it like World Whiskey of the Year, or the twenty nineteen or twenty twenty one San Francisco Spirits? What one of the big spirits competitions? I don't pay attention to it, those. I think it won like best whiskey overall. I or something. I don't, I don't pay attention to those. I, I don't either because I think they, a lot of them are pay to play. They absolutely are. Like they're the, like, yeah, we just grabbed a random bottle and sent it. Like, BS. Yeah, we just we just grabbed like uh, chose random bottles and no, you didn't. You you chose <laughs> the best barrel you could come up with and bottled it and sent it. Right. Which I mean, as a business, I get it. I'm not judging like, them for like, doing oh, we're it. We're going to put our best foot forward. Cool. That's yeah. hard to that's hard to argue with. But I mean, I'm not judging them for doing it. I'm just saying like. The, the sad those. part is when people read those and they're like, oh, man, I got to have this because it's the it's the best whiskey in the world. Like, it's... Henry McKenna. It's probably not. The Henry like, McKenna single barrel. Yeah. Like, like any, any single barrel is hard to def- definitively I, say this is the best because it's a single barrel. I think that they should have... I mean, they have best single barrel category, but I don't think that those whiskeys should be eligible to win overall... Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't... We've had conversations about this before. I don't feel that a single barrel offering is is definitive of what that distillery puts out. Right. Now, like, if you grab a Four Roses off the shelf single barrel, it's probably going to taste like 90% of the other single barrels on the shelf. Right. Their consistency is really great. Well, and that's, that's, that because, said, though, that's because they use the same recipe for all their single barrels. The standard off-the-shelf yes. single barrel. But, like, I love Four Roses, but would I say that the Four Roses single barrel 100 proof off the shelf is the best whiskey in the world for that year? No. Not even close. No. It's a fantastic whiskey, and I love it, Mm -hmm. but it's not the best in the world. It's not the best out of everything out there. Sure. Like, there's just, there's, no. No. So, anyway, that's our rant for um, whiskeys of the year. So. So, uh, if you've made it this far, put hashtag whiskey of the year in the comments. Yep. I'm going to go through one year. One year. That's probably apt. Yeah. (laughs) 
Kyle's schedule. And find all of the hashtags and put all you people in a randomizer and send someone something nice. You know what else uh, could be Whiskey of the Year, though? What's that? Sap 56. Really? I just happen to have some. Oh, imagine that. Imagine that. Sap 56 is the sponsor of today's video. And uh, thank you to them. They are putting out some. It is from Canada. It's five-year, at least, Canadian whiskey mixed with pure grade-A maple syrup straight out of the... They harvest their own trees. It's a freaking awesome process. Yep. 56 days a year is the harvest, and obviously, Sap 56, that's where that comes from. 50% less sugar than your standard liqueur. Fantastic. And it tastes so good. It it's, smells like whiskey, and it tastes like maple syrup whiskey goodness. It's fantastic. I still need to put that on some waffles. So be sure to check out Sap 56, and uh, like Nick said, hashtag Whiskey of the Year in the comments, and... Patreon members, absolutely love you guys. Your name should be rolling right now. And if seriously, if it wasn't for you guys, we would not be here. Yeah. Literally. Literally. Um, pa literally Patreon. right here, Patreon helped pay for this entire studio, and um, we we can't do it and, without you guys. And a little bit of give back to the Patreon, Barrel Picks. Yes. Our Barrel, barrel picks, picks, they get they get first dibs on the Barrel Picks so before we, it goes out to the We already did our 1792 full proof, and that should be being bottled and getting it's, to the store soon. It's where yeah. I got this shirt from the distillery. Fantastic. So much fun at that thing. Yeah, Barton is an awesome distillery. Um, and then we have a Buffalo Trace pick in like two weeks coming up, and then a week or two after that, we have a Four Roses Barrel Pick. Patreon members get first dibs access, and little secret right now... There is less Patreon members than there are bottles available, and we are letting Patreon people pick up multiples if they want. Mm. 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 So. We're um, not saying that you should join, <laughs> but like, you know. But, you know, if you want some barrel picks, that's that's a good way to do that. the best way to get it. So and the 1792 barrel that we picked is. Fantastic. Delicious. It was so, pretty much a consensus across everybody there. Just about, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, be sure to check that out. Link in the comments. And, like I said, thank you to you guys because you make all this happen. And other than that, um, until next week, drink blind. Drink everything. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> and next week, drink blind. <laughs> drink things. Well, that was harder than it should have been. <laughs> I've only said that like 400 times. Yeah. Yeah. Pew pew. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next